Welcome to Mayaca City, about 30 miles east of Sarasota. This ranch land is a glimpse into what Florida used to be. At every single pavement, road, house, hospital, or school, at one point in Florida's past, used to be a cattle ranch. Last winter, our eco-hero team saddled up, but. herding cattle on the land that is a vital part of Florida's wildlife corridor. These cattle ranches connect the Everglades to the south and timberland to the north, providing a sort of eco-friendly highway for the state's many amazing animals. At this beautiful ranch in Manatee County, some very high-tech research is about to take place that could be a game changer for the wildlife corridor. Ranch owner Jim Strickland teamed up with University of Florida researcher Joe Vendramini to install invisible fencing, a first-of-its-kind project in the southeast. So this is the kind of thing we're talking about. This is the kind of thing we're talking about that in the future, here on this ranch, with the first, the first study done in Florida, you won't see this fence. Cell towers send signals to collared cattle. Those signals then send messages to the cattle to stay within a given area on the ranch. This keeps cattle safe and allows the state's abundant wildlife, especially the endangered Florida panther, to move freely in this protected land. With invisible fencing, I mean, the, life, the wildlife are going to be able to run back and forth through it, but the cows that have collars won't. Connecting the diverse habitats up and down the state, nearly 18 million acres of land and water, is the only way to ensure wildlife will be able to survive and thrive. GPS collars on Strickland's cattle allow him to move the herd with a touch of a button, something that helps protect the delicate wetlands during nesting season. In South Florida, we have a lot of wetlands and some locations where sometimes we don't want a cattle to have access to it because of diversity of plants, invasive plants, uh, other vertebrates, uh, wildlife. The invisible fencing keeping cattle from wandering away while allowing the wildlife to go right through the fence because they don't even know it's there. So if we protect that wildlife corridor, we help protect the wildlife, the endangered species of having somewhere for them to go. 